Cervicogenic headaches. Headaches happen for lots of reasons. It can be hard to know what kind you have and what's causing it. But if it's related to a problem in your neck, there's a good chance it's a cervicogenic headache, CH. Symptoms. One sign of CH is pain that comes from a sudden movement of your neck. Another is that you get head pain when your neck remains in the same position for some time. Other signs may include. 1. Pain on one side of your head or face. 2. Steady pain that doesn't throb. 3. Head pain when you cough, sneeze, or take a deep breath. 4. An attack of pain that can last for hours or days. 5. Stiff neck you can't move your neck normally. 6. Pain that stays in one spot, like the back, front, or side of your head or your eye. Even though CH and a migraine are different, some of the symptoms can be similar. For example, you may 1. Feel sick to your stomach. 2. Throw up. 3. Have pain in your arm or shoulder. 4. Feel sick or uncomfortable in bright light. 5. Feel sick or uncomfortable with loud noise. 6. Have blurry vision. Some people get CH and a migraine at the same time. That can make it hard to know what's really going on. Causes. Many things can cause a cervicogenic headache, and sometimes there's no way to figure out exactly what it was. CH can come from problems with the bones in your neck, vertebrae, joints, or neck muscles that happen over time. For example, people in certain jobs, like hairstylists, carpenters, and truck drivers, can get CH from the way they hold their heads when they work. Sometimes CH happens in people who hold their heads out in front of their bodies. That's called, forward head motion, and it puts extra weight on your neck and upper back. It also can come from a fall, sports injury, whiplash, or arthritis. Or the nerves in your neck might be compressed, squeezed. You also can get cervicogenic headaches from a tumor or a fracture, small break, in your upper spine or neck. Diagnosis. Because there are many types of headaches, it can be hard to be sure you have CH. Your doctor will examine you and ask questions about your health. They'll want to know what you're doing when you get the pain and where it hurts. Be sure to tell them if 1. The headache gets worse over time. 2. You also have fever or a rash. 3. You hit or hurt your head. These might be signs of another health problem that needs attention. Get emergency medical care if the headache comes on all of a sudden and is very painful, you have a stiff neck, or if you start to feel dizzy. To learn more about your headaches, your doctor probably will want a closer look with one or more of the following. 1. X-ray. Small doses of radiation are used to make pictures of the bones in your neck and spine. 2. Computerized tomography CT, scan. Several X-rays are taken from different angles and put together to show more information than is on a single X-ray. 3. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI, scan. Powerful magnets and radio waves are used to make detailed images of your head, neck, and spine. They also may suggest a nerve block. This is a shot done by a specialist that puts numbing medicine into certain nerves in the back of your head. If the pain goes away with the nerve block, it means your headache is probably caused by a problem with nerves in your neck. Nerve block is also one way to treat CH. Your doctor also may have you move your head and neck a certain way to see what's painful for you. They may press on certain areas of your neck to see if that causes a headache. You also may get a blood test to make sure the problem isn't a disease that causes pain. Treatment. Cervicogenic headache treatment options. Even without understanding the physiological source of the irritation, cervicogenic headaches can be treated. Here are some different treatment options which can provide relief from a CGH. 1. Anti-inflammatory medication. Non-steroid anti-inflammatory medicines such as ibuprofen can help reduce inflammation. Reduced inflammation in the area around the spinal cord may relieve some of the pressure on the nerves that are causing the headaches. 2. TENS, Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation. During TENS therapy a machine is used to deliver electrical impulses to the nerves in the area causing pain. A 2007 study of individuals with cervicogenic headaches showed that although TENS therapy reduced the intensity of the headaches it had no effect on their frequency, how long they lasted or the patient's range of motion. This study suggested that physical therapy was more successful in the treatment of the CGH. 3. Exercise and or physical therapy. 
Exercising and physical therapy can help loosen joints, improve posture and increase muscle strength. By increasing muscle strength, individuals can reduce the amount of pressure on the spinal joints in that area. One study showed that exercise and physical therapy combined provide more relief than either one on its own. 4. Massage or Chiropractic Therapy Manual manipulation of the joints in the spine's neck region has been shown to provide short to pain relief to some CGH sufferers. 5. Steroid Injection If other cervicogenic headache treatment methods haven't provided relief, your doctor may recommend a cervical epidural steroid injection. During this procedure, a doctor inserts a needle into the space around your spinal cord and injects a corticosteroid. A local anesthetic is often mixed with the steroid for additional pain relief. Cervicogenic Headache vs Migraine A cervicogenic headache is a headache caused by nerve irritation in the spine of the neck, the cervical area. A cervicogenic headache is often confused with a migraine as pain from a migraine may radiate down into the neck. However, the key difference is that a cervicogenic headache is caused by an issue in the cervical region of the spine, whereas a migraine can be caused by a number of other issues.